Creating sessions in Workstation. In Workstation, you can create temporary and stored sessions in multiple ways. After you log into Workstation, on the right sidebar, you can see a Create New Session header. Underneath this header, three buttons appear Stored, Temporary, and Multiple. You can also press the plus button on the top tab line where you can add a new blank tab. By pressing on the three dots icon, you can select the type of the session you are about to create. New stored session, multiple temporary sessions. With stored session, you can create a new session which is stored and you can recall it later. In front of the URL, you can update the session details like change the session name, the color indicator of the session. You can set up to be in a group or if you type a new group name, it is created automatically. You can also reset the whole session. Creating a temporary session means that you create a new session which is not saved automatically, so you will lose this session when you close the tab or workstation itself. In front of the URL of the temporary session, you can always see the text Temporary Session. If you click on it, you can see the data being grayed out. If you press on the Multiple Temporary Sessions tab, a window will pop up where you can indicate how many sessions you would like to create. There is no limit how many temporary sessions you can create, but please bear in mind that all of these work like standard browser tabs always consuming computer memory. Workstation will clone the URL you are currently staying at as many times as you defined in the pop-up window. On the right-hand side of the URL bar, you can make further changes to both temporary and stored sessions. The first icon is the place where you can change the name of the tab, the URL. The session name and indicator can't be changed, but you can add further URLs and use them like bookmarks in other browsers. The second icon is where you can set up proxies for your sessions. A proxy can be set up for both stored and temporary sessions. The third icon is where session fingerprint details are shown, like the fingerprint's unique ID, the user agent information and the screen size. This information is added automatically to your sessions. It is not possible to change them. On the right side menu bar, you can click on the three dots icon where you can edit the session information, name, color, group and proxy. Or you can delete the session itself by pressing on the delete session button.